Hello everyone. I am drawing a cheese burger today as requested by one of my student. And as you can see I'm already in the process of drawing the burger. So I have made the upper burger and now I'm making the lettuce. And as you can see I'm just uh, trying to add all the elements here. So this is the tomato part which I drew. Now is the onion here and again working on the same uh, area i am going to add another tomato and going so this this is the oozing cheese coming out of the cheeseburger what is a cheeseburger without a cheese so like you can see here um, the cheeseburger is having a nice patty to it so after the patty i am uh, making another layer of lettuce at the bottom and then the uh, the bottom part of the burger so as you can see the shape is coming out very nice uh, it's all about finding it uh, you know balanced and the shape should fit as per the choice now to show the depth like the uh, the actual depth of the burger i'm trying to do the curb lines and the base is done and i have been uh, you know very very clearly instructed that this burger should be having a toothpick on the top along with a nice flag so <laughs> here i go i will do the needful and uh, i'll start and that's it so here is the flag and i'm going to start coloring so here i'm using uh, uh, you know color pencils luna stedlo pencils uh, which are pretty good for uh, uh, doing the coloring here and as you can see i have done a time lapse here because this video was pretty big so the layers and layers of color which goes over here to get the right depth and uh, effect of the food is pretty difficult and this is my first attempt i must be very honest with you guys that this is my first attempt in doing anything which is edible or you know so food <laughs> yeah my first attempt and uh, unusual request but uh, i'm very happy that uh, the kid has requested this and while doing this i thought of cheeseburger so many times so yeah uh, it made me craving for it yeah so this is the um, you know a bright red color for the tomatoes uh, to show the freshness and now i'm using a very nice onion shade here which is like purple shade nice bright purple shade and i am not adding too much color here i'm just giving a stripes which are the you know the nice uh, stripe things on the outer skin of the onion and now working at the cheese part so there's again going to be having a lot of layers and as you can see i'm adding first i added the lemon yellow now i'm working with mustard yellow and then again i'm working with a, a lemon yellow shade and back to the patties so patties are brown nicely cooked so it going to have a nice texture and different shades of brown so i'm going to work layer by layer and as you can see it's already looking eatable and uh, yep so uh, this goes on and on and on and uh, the shades of brown and the dark brown and the light brown all have been used here so that the you know the color layers defines it nicely the dark and light shades can be covered it properly so, yeah. so it's coming in right at the yep so it, it's having some light effects also that's why some patches are left with less color and as you can see the bottom border is done and i have done it quickly because it was pretty long and now i'm finishing the flag with the red color and i have already done the background work and uh, for the sesame seed effect uh, i will be using a gel pen and i think it looks delicious what do you say thank you for watching i hope you guys will like and subscribe to my channel 